So we are going to talk about the ITC today. Um, there is my co-founder, Dr. Bessan Faja, one of the best hair surgeons in the entire universe. And he is um, he's going to tell us his version of why um, the ITC came into play. Because there's a lot of people out there that that have heard about the ITC now. It's, it's gaining traction. But I think it would be nice to understand the ethos behind it. So, so what's your take on this? Why, why are you so, you're so invested in this? Uh, so I think the original idea was, well, there was, there's two points really. The original idea was to have a proper trichology congress uh, in a similar vein to uh, how medical conferences run and that you have a multiple day event and a nice social um, platform, good networking opportunity, plenty of sponsors, uh, panel debates, um, evening events, etc. But then I think um, then when sitting down talking to you and, and, and thinking, thinking out loud really, the, the idea expanded into, yeah, but this would be a nice platform to talk hair loss and hair science in general, not just to trichologists, but to all um, specialties that are interested in the subject of hair loss and hair sciences, namely trichologists, um, uh, hair restoration surgeons, hair biologists, dermatologists who have an interest in hair, um, and other providers who deal with non-surgical, perhaps, therapies for hair loss, and why not even expand it to hairdressers who have an interest to know more about uh, hair science, all I for the purpose of everyone getting together. Um, I mean, I think when we started talking about this, we said, you know, the trichologists need this more than anybody else because there wasn't very much out there regarding trichology training and CPD days. But then it became really apparent really quickly that we're not alone. This is just one facet of a huge subject. And there's nothing really bringing people together and creating a networking event. Um, it's We're a very lonely group of people, really. On your own, you're doing your thing. And at the very best, you've got your peers around you who do the same thing as you. But, I mean, as a trichologist, hair restoration surgeon is immensely important. Um, Dermatology is immensely important. Hair scientists are immensely. Why aren't we getting together and talking hair with these people at some point? So it's it's quite it's quite lonely, um, and I think this is really really important. And personally, it's, it to me this is a brilliant um, networking event. It is all to do with talking to your peers and talking to other people around it. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it strikes a chord with a lot of people. So I say we normally you practice on your own in a small practice, and you need to go to these kind of events to feel you're part of a, a wider field. When I was a you know if I was a, a doctor in a hospital, or when I was a, like a junior doctor in a hospital, you're part of a huge uh, organization. You interact with peers all the time, but when you're in in private hair practice, that's not the same. And these kind of events and makes you feel supported and helps you increase your knowledge and 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 just really um helps you gather more info they can possibly do on your own just before we tell everybody how to get the tickets and who's involved and things like that um one of the best things i like about this is the uh the conversation that you have outside the talks i love the talks but i like talking to people to me the networking part of it the the deals the, um, the things that are really, really interesting are the conversations that you have. You know, in, in hair transplant conferences, it's well known that you learn more in the corridors than you learn in the lecture. Than in the yeah, lecture. Yeah. You get that Absolutely. first, you ask a specific question. Um, and then sometimes I have something to say that I don't think is particularly interesting to other people. But it, but it is. It's just because you think, ah, that's just too simple. Yeah. And then you're talking to somebody says, what? I didn't know that before. And, 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 and so on. So and it is it is quite interesting. New to this year, we have our supported talks. Just take us through what societies are involved. The European Hair Research Society, which is one of the major regional uh, hair science societies in the world. Next to it, the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery, which is the world's biggest educational society for hair they transplant. Are, 
and they are huge, aren't they? I mean, they have some really big hitting names. Yeah, you can. Yeah, the Institute of Trichologists um, is the world the world's oldest um, um, uh, trichology training or trichology graduating uh, institution. They've been going since 1902. Um, the, the bars is the British Association of Hair Restoration uh, Surgery. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's one of the main uh, European-based uh, societies and they have their meeting coming up in March, two days in London, and they're going to have representation at our meeting. Um, the division of the University of Bradford that handles all the research into hair. And University of Bradford, for those who don't know, uh, is one of the world's leading centers uh, for research into uh, all things uh, hair loss, really. Some of the world's most prominent uh, biologists are based there. And last year we had uh, three scientific talks. Micropigmentation UK is one of the, or if not the major uh, conference event for micropigmentation technicians. Uh, and again, for those who don't know, um, scalp micropigmentation now uh, is an extremely popular uh, treatment um, to simulate hair for those who who either are not in a position to have hair transplantation um, or who, who prefer the shaved look um, and and more and more conferences are happening regarding this subject but they are going to have a representative uh, speaker who will tell us about the latest in that world bringing those all together is is abs to me it's mind-blowing it's absolutely phenomenal it hasn't been done before um, and each one of those has, has been very, very positive. We haven't had to twist anybody's arm. They've all gone, yes, we want to be a part of this. It sounds like a great idea. So, Absolutely. you know, it's, it's, it's on the right track, really. But we've got some really, really good names coming up. Now, I'm going to stop it there. You're busy. I've got to get off and do a clinic. You've got to do a surgery. So, but we are going to, we'll, we'll be doing this regularly. We're going to get people... Uh, we're going to get the speakers, we're going to get the sponsors involved, and we're going to start talking about what we're expecting and what hopefully people can uh, hope to expect at the ITC. So thank you very much for your time. Fantastic. No problem. For more information, please go to trichologycongress.com where you'll find information on the speakers and the tickets. The early bird price that you see finishes at the end of July. So please take advantage of this whilst you can.